Rising enrollment in Seattle public schools is forcing a private school that has rented space from the district for nearly three decades to move out. Couple Force Kara Kostinich is live in the newsroom with why parents and faculty at Queen Anne's Northwest Center School are so upset. Kara? Hi there, Mary. Well, this comes down to one very important issue, and that is timing. The school says they need more than the district is willing to provide so they can move into a facility that meets the needs of their students. What's that noise, asked Beckett. Inside the classrooms at Northwest Center School. Making students safe is her job. A unique program that includes children of all ages. That looks so nice. And abilities. So we owe so much to Northwest Center. And Cortades. Can I take one? Four-year-old son, Zach. Yeah, I'm a kid. And three-year-old daughter, Katie, attend programs here. When she was diagnosed with prader willi syndrome, my son was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And now Northwest Center has helped the Cortain kids grow by leaps and bounds. More than 100 local families depend on the special school. And now its future is uncertain. Seattle Public Schools has terminated the private school's lease on the building and given them six months to move out. We had enrollment growth in the district that has really challenged us in terms of being able to find space for all of our students. I totally understand their problem. I totally get it. Um, our only issue is we need time. Northwest Center CEO Tom Everill said, Good job. Six months is not long enough to find the right facility and go through the required state licensing process. We would have hoped after a 29 year partnership to be at the table. We understand their needs, um, but we also do critically important work in the, in the community. Seattle Public Schools say they agree, but add renovations need to start in June for the building to be ready for the district's homeschooling program that will now be housed here. Did you have a good day? The parents of these very special students still have a plea. Bye. Let's find a temporary solution in the interim and then give these guys some more time. And we have learned the district and Northwest Center have agreed to meet and discuss these issues. Meantime, the district has a building on Beacon Hill they say can accommodate the private school. But it's unclear if the facility will meet the special needs of their students and meet permitting deadlines. Live in the newsroom, I'm Kara Kostinich, Como 4 News. Thank you.